Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Wave interview question series. In this video, we are going to talk about the below interview questions. Okay, these are the frequently asked questions. So these are the questions I got it from my students. Okay. So first try to understand the question before solving it. Okay. Then what is the first question here? Combine multiple objects into single. Okay. I'll give you the sample payload also. Then remove duplicates from given payload and add only last index values into an array. Okay. These are the three questions we are going to discuss about today. Now, let's enter into the topic. The first one, combine multiple objects into single, okay? See here, we do have two objects, two objects. They are expecting everything into single object, correct? So how to do this? Just to copy this one. Now go to data wave playground. So that is the first question, right? Combine multiple objects into single. Okay. Copy paste the payload. Now, just if you type only payload, what will happen? You'll get entire payload. So here, so whenever, if there are multiple and you want to keep it into single, then you can go with reduce, okay, item and accumulator. Now, it's very important. Accumulator, accumulator. So if you give accumulator, you are getting 101 and Ravi. Then you need to combine. So combine means plus plus. You need to provide an item. See here, we are getting the output. Okay. So this is what they are expecting. So if I give empt one, okay, now the issue is resolved, okay. So if you don't keep this empty also, it will work, but uh, it is showing some errors here, okay. So that is the reason I'm going to keep empty object, okay. This is one, this is one. So there is another way that's very simple. See, just to comment out that one. You can use object braces, okay, lower braces. Again, just type payload. See how beauty it is. You know, whatever they are asking, we have completed. These are the two ways we can do this. See, if we have 10, we can combine. Okay. That's not a problem at all. Now, we'll go to another question. I don't want to erase this. Okay. Next, to go to data web playground. So what is the next question? Remove duplicates from given payload. Okay. Okay, this is the, this is the input. Okay, this is the input. So array, inside an array, we do have multiple objects. Okay, array, there is one more array here, see, okay. So it's like different 
list different objects also available so one list it contains multiple objects so here if you observe the names so how many times it is available joy joy is available for three times but i want to display for only one time jock two times is there now joy okay john only for one time so this and all okay so only joy will be available for three times but we are expecting for only one time okay just copy this just copy this go to data web playground copy paste here this is the first step now you know already if you print payload the same payload will get display in the right hand side now what we need to do so in this case see here first we need to keep it into single array okay single array but here array inside an array we have an object right okay so for this we can use flatten just type payload see what it will do so this is very important interview question also okay they will ask what is reduce and what is uh, flatten so once you practice then you can you can able to answer the question also see here what is the difference if i give only flatten and payload okay it will convert multiple arrays into single one correct now it's very simple so in order to remove duplicates you can go with distinct by distinct by item dot name so name right okay see here now joy is only available for one time jock see here if you observe so here also jack is available and here also jack but so why it is giving for two days because j it is in small letters so here it will be in a capital letter so that is the reason but if you have joy the same one it will be available for three days so that is the reason only one time it is displayed okay now oh, john jack Three and six. So it came around six attributes. But if you observe here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So there are eight. Okay. There are eight attributes. Out of eight, two are removed. This is one question. So how do you remove? By using flatten. You can keep the payload into inside the flatten. Okay, flatten payload. You can use distinct by. See if I don't want to use this one, so you can do that. So there is another way. So what you can do, distinct by. Next, you can use Dora. dot name see both will be the same you know how to use dollar and how to use item okay so this is one question it is resolved it's very simple but you have to understand the question first before trying to solve next add only last index all values into array what is this we'll see see the same input payload the same input payload they are expecting only values not attributes okay i mean not keys jimmy jock joy boom jimmy jock joy boom okay now anyway we do have this one either you can use this one or i'll go with another one to solve this 
just go to google and type database playground okay Okay, here, just go with map. Item dot name. See here, now 50% problem is solved. So here, what do you need? So array inside two arrays will be available. It's like first index and second index, correct? So it's like zero. This one is zeroth index and this one is the index will start from zero. This is for one. Now it's very simple to print this. What you can do either you can keep it in a variable and you can do that or else. So first index, right? Okay. It's giving an error. Just to keep this into a braces. See, this is what? they're expecting okay this is what they're expecting again the same thing so very, very simple so that's what i told you right okay so what you can do you can create one variable data equal to inside this you can keep it if you print data, so what is happening? Okay, now just give the index here. This is one way of doing. Again, there is one more method. There is one more method. So data. Here, what we need to do, just you can use reduce if you print item. See, if you print accumulator, so first one will get print. See, this is changed. If you give item, the second one is going to print. So today we have learned three frequently asked inventory questions. One is combine multiple objects into single, remove duplicates from given payload, add only last index all the values into an array. So how to combine by using reduce, you can combine or else you can use flower braces and payload. Now second question is how to remove first you need to keep all the values into inside the platen okay when it is flatten you can use distinct by to remove the duplicate names here and the third question is if you want to keep only last index last index only values then you can go with payload map item index and display only names first and keep it into one variable either you can use data of one or you can use data of reduce and keep the item okay uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching this we'll uh, see you in a, another video happy learning